In an ideal world, we'd all start a business, it would be successful, we could employ multiple people, and we'd all live happily ever after in financial freedom. But sometimes though, just to get there, we have to put in a lot of extra work elsewhere. For some people, your best starting point is to go with a job that pays well. And since the jobs on our list cover a range of fields, from health and medicine to the legal field to entertainment and technology, you should be able to find something that aligns with your passion. Now, full disclosure here, we got salary numbers from job portal sites like Glassdoor, Salary Expert, and the Bureau of Labor Statistics. These are averages, and salaries fluctuate massively based on location and experience. The average American salary is around $59,000, and a comfortable salary would be between 70 to 100K, so we looked at jobs that went beyond that. Some jobs stand the test of time, and no matter what century we're in, they will be in demand. Other jobs are new to the game and seem like they'll only be getting more popular. So without further ado, and in no particular order, here are 15 high-paying jobs right now. First up, airline pilot. Now, as an airline pilot and co-pilot, you can make around $161,000 a year. Imagine soaring through the skies, connecting people and cultures, and seeing the world from above. It's a career that combines a love for travel with a thrill of flying. As a pilot, you'd have to navigate through turbulent weather and keep your passengers safe, but the reward is a unique perspective of the world and the satisfaction of mastering a complex skill set. While you don't need this degree to become a pilot, a bachelor's in aviation will certainly help. You'll then go on to flight school for extensive flight training to acquire a commercial pilot's license. The FAA requires a minimum of 1,500 hours to fly as an airline pilot, which can be earned in about two years. Pediatrician now, pediatricians earn about $184,000 a year, a handsome sum, but it comes with a lot of pressure. They witness the first steps, the first words, and the growth of their little patients. The challenge here, though, is not just medical. It's about earning the trust of the children and comforting anxious parents. Yet the joy of helping a sick child recover and the privilege of being a part of that family's life do make this job deeply fulfilling. In most places, a pediatrician must complete a bachelor's degree, four years of medical school, and a three to four year residency in pediatrics. Working hours can be very long, especially for those working in hospitals. Keeping on in the medical field for a moment, there is surgeon. Now, surgeons make bank too, bringing in around $409,000 annually, but again, it comes with a wealth of responsibility. They have the power to heal with their hands. It's a career of precision, nerves of steel, and life-changing interventions. The pressure is immense, as every decision could have significant consequences. Yet the ability to save lives and restore health makes it one of the most rewarding professions. To be a surgeon, you need a bachelor's degree to go to medical school and several years in surgical residency. Surgeons often work long hours and are on call for emergencies. The field is highly competitive and demanding. And then taking that pay grade a step further, neurosurgeons. They're usually seen as the creme de la creme of medical professionals. They make over $600,000 a year, and based on what they do and how in demand they are, this number seems apt. Neurosurgeons navigate the complexities of the human brain and spinal cord. It's a field that needs exceptional skill and precision. The challenges are daunting, there's a risk of life-changing consequences adding to that the long hours and stressful situations, and you can understand that 600K is well-deserved. Then there are psychiatrists, who do pretty well too, bringing in over $220,000 a year. They work with the complexities of the human mind. They don't just treat illness, they listen, counsel, and guide. There's a lot of emotional weight in the work, but it's worth it when the reward is helping people to find balance and peace. Data Scientist Now, data scientists are all the rage these days, and while their $130,000 salaries aren't the highest of the bunch, the accessibility and intrigue that comes with the job adds to its attractiveness. Data scientists uncover patterns and insights hidden in vast amounts of data. 
their work involves using analytics technologies, including machine learning and predictive modeling, to solve complex problems. A typical day might include cleaning data, performing statistical analysis, and creating data visualizations to communicate findings. This role requires a strong foundation in mathematics, statistics, and computer science, often necessitating a master's degree or a PhD. Machine Learning Engineer These folks make about $141,000 and that number is set to increase over the coming years. They design and implement algorithms that allow machines to learn and make decisions. This role requires a deep understanding of both software engineering and data science. A typical pathway involves a bachelor's in computer science or related fields, often followed up by specialized training or a master's degree. It's an interesting job, but it can get tedious when you're working with large data sets. This job is for you if you love telling human stories using observations and numbers. Senior Software Developers Senior software developers make about $130,000 a year. You could say they're the pillars of the tech world. They not only write code, but also lead projects, solve complex problems, and mentor junior developers. You need a bachelor's in computer science and a few years of experience. Once you're in the position, you've got to make sure you stay on top of technological changes and managing people. That's how you're going to deliver your great projects on time. It's no walk in the park, you'll probably be working very long hours, but you get to mix creativity with logic and solution building, so there's never a dull moment. Investment Banker Investment banker salaries fluctuate quite a bit, but we're going with the average of $140,000 a year. They advise companies on financial strategies, including mergers, acquisitions, and raising capital. A degree in finance, economics, or business is typical, often followed by an MBA. It's high stakes, lots of networking, lots of sitting at your computer trying to work out where the market is going to go. The hours are long, the decisions are high pressure, and the environment is competitive. But the rewards? Well, the rewards can be great, it's not just about the money. Few things beat the thrill of closing a deal that you've been working toward. CEO In a good place, CEOs can average around $192,000 a year. They're the visionaries who steer companies towards success. They make crucial decisions, lead teams, and shape the company culture. There's no fixed path to becoming a CEO. It often involves a combination of education, typically an MBA, extensive experience, and leadership skills. The challenges are immense, from making tough decisions to handling stakeholder expectations. CEOs often work long hours, but the role offers you the opportunity to lead and shape an organization. Engineering Manager Engineering managers make around $124,000. They're the bridge between technical teams and business objectives, so they have to speak two very different work languages. They oversee projects, manage teams, and ensure engineering goals align with the company's strategies. To become an engineering manager, you usually start off with a bachelor's degree in engineering and then gain a few extra years of experience in the field. There is a challenge that comes with balancing technical work, management responsibilities, project deadlines, and sticking to budgets, so you kind of have to be a jack of all trades here. But who better to do it than you? Solutions Architect As a solutions architect, you could make around $130,000 a year. Solutions architects design the framework that keep businesses running smoothly. They go into a business, talk to different teams to find out what a company needs in terms of technology, like a new app, a new customer management system, or a system with better data security. They then take this information and decide which technologies the company would benefit from the most. As a solutions architect, you're not just solving problems, you're preempting them, ensuring that systems are not only effective today, but adaptable for the future. Petroleum Engineer 
As a petroleum engineer, you would be making around $140,000. You're the wizard behind extracting oil and gas resources that fuel our everyday life. It's a field that combines innovation, adventure, and environmental awareness. You could be working on offshore rigs or developing new extraction technologies. It's not just about drilling, it's about finding smarter, safer ways to tap into Earth's resources. Sales. Look, okay, sales has no ceiling. Being good at selling art, luxury cars, real estate, programs to tech companies, and whatever you can think of could make you north of 100K in a year or two with no degree or experience. But you do have to hustle. For the amount of money you could potentially make with sales, it's got a pretty low barrier of entry and potential for quick growth. You just have to really put yourself out there and go for it. Even jobs in investment banking are sales at a high level. Perfect your sales technique and there'll be no limits to what you can earn. And last but not least, an enterprise architect, where you can earn around $150,000 a year. Now, as an enterprise architect, your job is to understand what the company should be achieving in the long run. You're going to look at what new markets you can expand into or how to improve your customer service. You map out where software systems, hardware, and networks are needed in a company. They're similar to solutions architects, but instead of focusing only in one specific area, they work with the entire organization to push the company forward. Now, Alexa, these jobs are high paying and rewarding, but they are not easy. They'll take a lot of confidence and hard work, and the starting years will be tough. But the end result is financial flexibility and a fulfilling career. If something jumps out at you, it's definitely worth working toward it. Tell us, though, what high paying cool jobs did we miss? What high paying jobs would attract you? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. Until next time, my friend, take care.